A North Jersey mural is causing controversy. The artist says she volunteered to do it to unite people, but now she's dealing with a backlash. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner has more from Clifton. Lisa. Andrea, this is part of the mural here under the Garden State Parkway on Allwood Road. Ironically, the theme is use your voice, and some people did, complaining about it. Fists of all skin colors side by side was the original vision for the mural. Clifton High School grad and artist May Uasa and more than a dozen other Clifton teens spent five long days in the July heat painting it voluntarily. But after the first fist on the left, a black fist was finished, she was told to stop and change it. It was all these fists raised and like there were different races to show like solidarity and unity. But some complained to the Clifton city manager who approved the initial design that it was too political. The city manager told CBS2 quote, whether it's a black or white fist, they both idealize the same. And he couldn't allow it under his purview as the city manager. Originally the design was to celebrate um, Clifton's diversity. She then changed two of the fists into hands making a heart and two others became a handshake and kept the use your voice text. The city painted over the black fist that was left standing. The overarching message is to use your voice for your opportunities, whether that be in like academics, athletic, like your dreams, your passions. And then that's why I also put in infinite possibilities. Across the street, the second half of the mural says infinite possibilities with people holding hands. Zelly Thomas is with Black Lives Matter Patterson. Incredibly disappointed. I'm hurt for the artists. I'm hurt for the communities, but we can't um, defeat racism by ignoring racism or trying to like wish it away or wash it away. And it shows that we have some work to do as a town um, for our minority community. And recently, the Turnpike Authority, which runs the Garden State Parkway, caught wind of the mural and told the city of Clifton the whole thing must come down. A spokesperson says the agency does not allow paint on any of its bridges, but some residents will fight for this to stay at Wednesday's city council meeting. I would like to see them leave it. There are other signs on property of theirs, and it's like, oh no, now we're going to get rid of this one. You're oppressing their voice. How are you supposed to encourage the younger generation to get involved? The city manager says he'd like to see the mural painted elsewhere in the city. May says she would if that's what city residents want. In Clifton, New Jersey, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.